welcome. Um, this very private presentation of the second series, exclusively for the, the UAE uh, BMW Club. And, and as I said again, uh, for me it's a real honor because I can really see the passion that this brand uh, brings out. And this is obviously a car that's very, very important to us. The 7 Series, it's our flagship. Um, it's our most important car in many ways because it represents really the brand, what the brand can do at many levels. Um, and in this case, for you who know a lot about BMW, you probably know about BMW more than me in many ways, but um, um, <laughs> this, um, this is the first time we talk about luxury, the way we're talking about luxury with the 7 Series. As you know, BMW is a brand that has a strong heritage in, in driving dynamics and the pleasure of driving. But this time we tried to do with the 7 Series, actually we tried to bring two things together that usually don't come together. And it's pure luxury, pure comfort, and at the same time the real driving precision, sportiness, that you expect from a BMW that you all know very well. And um, that's why when we talked about um, um, modern luxury, you might hear that all the time, I'm sure a lot of brands or uh, we hear modern luxury everywhere, but for us modern luxury means something very particular, is that it's about innovation. We have in this car, I think our product genius knows more than I do there, but we have I think about uh, you know, 15 innovations that have, do not exist anywhere else in the car world. Mm -hmm. For example, this car actually has core in carbon. Mm -hmm. So it's the first time we go, uh, we have carbon fiber at that level in this market segment. And this car has laser headlamps. First time we do laser headlamps um, in this market segment as well, bigger numbers. Uh, this car has gesture control. It's a small thing, but I think quite important. For the future, as you know, connectivity and the way you're going to interact with your car is very, very important. Um, so just to name, uh, to name those. Um, at the design level, there's a few things as well that were very important to us. Obviously, the typical BMW proportions, you know, the big wheels at the corners, the, the small front overhang, the cab rearward, very elegant, very long, very, um, very stretched proportion, but at the same time, presence. The front, you know, the, the typical BMW front with the, the kidneys here, the double round headlamps. Here, the kidneys are maybe the biggest kidneys we've ever designed uh, until now. Um, but these kidneys have something very, very special for us. It's a little thing, maybe, but they open and close. And why we wanted to do something like that is because we believe that um, well, the kidneys are probably one of the most important icons of BMW design. You'll find them in every BMW. And uh, we wanted to show that uh, it's not just a form, but it's also a function. It's something that um, we show the innovations that we have where it matters most. It's basically the, the icons. Again, the, the laser headlamps, it's a small thing. Um, it has blue inside, but maybe as a little, little story is that uh, actually in Germany, blue in the headlamps is only legal for police cars. Uh, but we managed to create a little trick about them that um, uh, we can uh, actually have a bit of blue in there because it's uh, um, because actually the laser is actually a blue laser the intensity that comes out and it goes through a series of filters and comes out as white uh, on the road so that's why we wanted to, to change uh, to institute to, to stage that um, otherwise what we did in this car as much in the exterior as we did in the interior is to be honest, there was an obsession with detail that we've never had before. We spent many, many hours on little things. Um, whether it's you know the quality of the surfaces, for example, here you see it perfectly in this light, but most people when they see the car for the first time, they don't see this double line. Um, it's very subtle, but it's something that was also quite difficult because you have to produce that in metal and you have to stay perfectly parallel over the whole length of the car. Um, another little detail, for example, this mirror this is well something uh, for the first time we do uh, the foot that's here connected just with this thin strip of chrome. Uh, and it has, it not only looks good in my opinion, but it also um, is in terms of aerodynamics the best solution you can because it's much, much quieter than it's actually uh, ever been. 
Um, on the other hand as well, okay, the air breather that you, you probably know for aerodynamics is quite important because it lets out the pressure that develops inside the wheel well. Um, and we wanted to show that, so we wanted to stage that. That's why we have it uh, chrome and going along the full length of the car. And uh, maybe my little uh, detail that I like the most is this, uh, this is a very important feature on all BMWs. It's mm -hmm. called the Hofmeister King. It's there on every BMW in different shapes and form. And this is the first time we do it in one piece. It mm. might sound like a little thing, but we've, just, uh, we've eliminated the connection here mm -hmm. between two separate pieces. And we did that. And to be honest, it's, it's quite uh, uh, difficult and quite expensive to manufacture that. But we felt that that's really where uh, it's very important because it's a, it's a BMW icon and we want to treat it with the most respect we can and really invest. Of the, the, the money and the quality where it, uh, where it should be. Would you say that made a little bit of additional performance on fuel economy with that, uh, eliminating that cut? Uh, probably not so much, uh -huh. but uh, in essence, all of it, I mean, would you say there's truth to it? Because, for example, here, the step between the glass and this here as well, yeah. it's, very, uh, it's very much as flush as it can be, and that's very important for everybody. It's better flow overall. Yes, yeah. And then for the rest, of course, the rear as well for BMW, very, very important. You have L-shaped tail lamps. I think you, you know in every uh, BMW you have it in different shapes and form. Uh, this, of course, the top technology that we can have in full LED allows us to create very, um, very small tail lamps. So making the, the car look wider. The mm -hmm. car is actually not wider than the previous generation but it looks much wider because we tried to pull the lines as much from side to side and um, make it, yeah, have it give it as well presence uh, uh, in the rear. Uh, it's very important. And then, uh, of course, the interior. Um, interior is something I'm personally very, very proud of. I think, uh, I don't know if you've had the chance to sit in it already, but uh, this is where we really invested all the um, sort of the energy and um, and innovation that we could to make the best feeling of quality, of well-being, of, uh, of precision as well in the way things are built inside um, to create something that is typical BMW because as well the, the dashboard is driver oriented so the screen in the middle and the controls in the middle are turned towards the driver. And at the same time, what is typical BMW is that the dash is very, very lean. It's not a very high dashboard, mm -hmm. so that's why you have the wood and the chrome that goes from side to side to make it feel wide and uh, light. Um, and um, that, though, on top, you have a level of luxury. You can order this car as well with the executive lounge, uh, which gives you the ability to have a console in the middle, to have a seat that you can move towards the front, and you can have a footrest. It's not in this car, but uh, uh, it is uh, a very important thing that we developed as well to uh, offer that level of comfort that is essential for a flagship like the 7 Series. And um, again, maybe the level of, of detail, for example, you can see here, uh, you have this mood lighting that's in the door so that you can set the type of light that you want. But it also is there so that when you close the door and you're sitting in the rear, Everything you see around you has been designed. Um, you can see this um, the seal, you know, this, this rubber seal, and that's obviously very important for sound and uh, insulation. But when you close the door, you don't see it, so that when you're sitting in the rear, everything that you see around you has been thought of. That was very important to us to make sure that experience is complete. And another uh, a small little detail is that, for example, you have wood here um, behind you, and you can say, well, why would we put wood somewhere where you don't look at it? But what, we, um, what, we, what was important to us is that when you enter or exit the car, you also only have the best quality materials around you, like wood and leather. So even if you put your hand on it, it feels like the best quality. So, yeah, a few, a few examples, a few ideas of why for us, for a car of that, um, that category, that class, we have to think of every little detail to make sure that your, your experience is the best possible.
Can you talk to us a bit about the Sky Lounge? The Sky Lounge, yes. This is uh, as well a very nice... Thank you for reminding me of that. <laughs> um, it's uh, the, 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 the Sky Roof, of course, very big, very important that you have the, uh, the light that comes through. It gives you a better feeling of areas. And what we've done here is something that was maybe a little bit in the realm of what Rolls-Royce has done. Is that Rolls-Royce, you might know, has a feature where it has individual uh, uh, LEDs in there. For us, we wanted to do something that was a bit more, a bit more technical, a bit more BMW. So what we did is we etched, I think there's 15,000 um, patterns in the glass, and the glass is lit up from the different, uh, from the sides. And because it's etched in there in the glass, it reflects and then gives you that feeling of the, of the sky lounge of a, a, a starry night, if you want. We'd like to thank you for this um, presentation. And uh, BMW Club UAE is thrilled to have you here. My pleasure. It's, uh, again, for me, really a real pleasure to see true BMW passion. Thank you. Thank you.